Yeah, my town got a new intersection. But what are all these yellow bumps for? How much does this cost? There's some cameras up there in the new intersection. Of course, we know what that's for. Another camera. But these yellow bumps, what are they for? How much do they cost? So I was curious about how much these things cost, these yellow bumps. So I did a search. Stu Bykovsky, though, cement bubbles on sidewalk corners are costing you a lot of money. How much money, I wondered. I scroll down. The cost of installing the now mandated ramps at each of the city's 22,000 intersections will be, wait for it, $858 million according to Streets Department Deputy Commissioner. This is in Philly. Philly's an expensive town, but not the most expensive town in the nation. And their sidewalk bumps are costing $858 million. How many people do you think you could hire to walk somebody across the street for that amount of money? But I wasn't finished searching, so I thought I would check out this website, Ocean Beach Rag. Why, oh why, are brand new intersection ramps being replaced in Ocean Beach? Okay, this was 2010, so this was being done a while ago. But their concern was this brand new sidewalk at that time had to be redone to put in yellow bumps. So I wondered, at first I thought the yellow bumps, are they for wheelchairs? Are they to keep grocery carts from rolling away? What's, what's the purpose? So I checked it out and learned that they are Americans with Disabilities Act mandated for the blind. So that when blind people are out walking, they can learn when they are about to hit an intersection and they can stop or have their dog check whatever they do to determine when it's safe to cross the pros and cons of truncated domes should one disability trump another as it turns out People in wheelchairs do not like these bumps because they feel very unsafe. This lady said, my front wheels are small so they cannot ride over the bumps easily. Furthermore, the bumps trigger muscle spasms for some people with spinal cord injury. There are people in wheelchairs who have tripped on the dots and ended up in hospitals with broken bones. The question is, should one disability trump another disability? We run into these kind of issues. I was curious about just how many blind people there are in the US. There are 1.3 million legally blind people and that statistic is from 2008. That is 0.3% of the U.S. population. And I was wondering how many of those people go out and walk in the average community. Honestly, I'm, I'm not being without compassion, but I have never once seen a blind person out walking in the community where I live. There are about 20,000 people here. Granted, it's a smaller community, but no, I've never seen anybody with a help dog, never seen anybody with a cane. And how, how, often, how often are blind people out walking? In big cities, I suppose it happens. It feels like nobody 
thought this matter through. I cannot understand how people who have any sense of economy could spend this amount of money in that 858 million in Philly, that's just one city. What is it costing all the municipalities in the country? It really doesn't make sense to me. So I figured I'd ask my boyfriend, what are these yellow bumps about? It just doesn't make sense. He's pretty smart. Well, yeah, this really ties into, it's a similar thing to the, all of the handicapped regulations that we saw go in everywhere, all the handicapped ramps and all of the handicapped restrooms and all of these big stalls and, and uh, grab rails and all of that. It was all mandated by the court system and it all had to be, in order to be compliant, people had to do retrofitting and all new construction had to be according to this code. And that's, uh, again, all that money was spent in order to make things uh, up to code. And of course, there's always updating the code. And this is the Uniform Commercial Code. That is how business is done. So the court has direct input into the code uh, and how it's carried out and new additions to the code. And this is, the whole thing with the blind people is very similar to what happened to uh, wheelchair handicapped type people much earlier on in the 70s and 80s um, it's just another wave of the same thing almost carried to a ridiculous level because you don't even have to prove that there's any blind people around and there's still there's tons of money being spent on this and who gets the money that's being spent well you'd like to think that the primary people benefiting from this are the hard workers that do the work and actually get down on their hands and knees and put in those yellow bumps, but it's really the the people above them that are making off like bandits. It's the people that can um, can create the contracts and set up the contracts that give the the city the business, keep the those wheels of commerce rolling and greased, and the. There's always under the table payoffs to the politicians that bring in the business and it's just, it's not just about the yellow bumps, it's about the, the money from the contractors who are paying it to the politicians or to be able to put in the yellow bumps and it's just, a, it's just corruption layered on corruption. That's awful! What a waste! Good girl! Gone mad!